Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Today I'm going to be showing you Android 4.0 with TouchWiz. So, uh, the new um, Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 just came out, and I have since before had a Galaxy Nexus, which has stock 4.0. So today I got to see what the TouchWiz interface looked like. And it has some nice features and it has some uh, not so nice features. Uh, so let me go over them. Uh, first of all, TouchWiz interface, you have uh, these little specific TouchWiz widgets. Let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. So you have things like weather, which if you expand that, you can get the five day forecast. You have their own personal uh, date and uh, time. You also have a media hub which Media Hub, um, as I've gone over before, is a Samsung's hub where you can rent or purchase videos. And the really nice thing about it is that if you have a Samsung Smart TV, if you buy it here, you can watch it on your TV automatically without even needing to send it from this device. So if you buy it on here, it works on all your Samsung products. So whether it be your tablet, your phone, or your TV, it all syncs up in what they call an ecosystem. So, what you also have is uh, Samsung's built-in uh, media player, uh, so their widget for that. You also have a little active uh, application, so you can see how many uh, applications are actually active right now. Their own uh, bookmark. Over here, you have their personal email um, and tasker. Uh, email is fairly basic, and the tasker is just pretty nice because you can actually tap it and it's crossed out so and then once you refresh it it basically will uh, just actually won't go away uh, you have to actually tap it and then to delete it I guess if you want it to go away or else it'll just show that it's done to the right we have a nice little uh, month widget which uh, shows you all of your dates so you know I'm actually going on Puerto Rico so I will be gone for a little bit guys but I'll be back don't worry um, again, just your active tasker, uh, which just when you click it, takes you to your task manager, so you can actually end that app, or so you can end all of them, just by one touch, and there you go. The other thing is, uh, you have a little test memo, and of course, you have these Samsung apps, which is Reader Hub, Media Hub, Game Hub, and actually also Music Hub, I forgot that one. Now, the reason I put these together, though, is because on Android 4.0, it's a very simple way on how to create folders, which has been pretty much taken away with TouchWiz, unfortunately. So on Android 4.0, all you do is you grab the icon, and you move it on top, and then it creates a folder. However, you saw that didn't happen this time. So how this is done, actually, is one of two ways. Uh, the first way is actually not as good, which you can grab this, and at the top here you see a little folder icon pop up so you can actually just drop it in that folder icon and then it creates the folder once you move everything to that folder you can see it then has a folder and you can just name it you know Samsung now this is actually the slower way to make a folder I personally rather do it this way so I'm going to take these out and then delete this folder which again with 4.0 the folder just disappeared with this uh, the folder still stays there um, what I prefer to do is hold it down and then uh, the screen will come up and you just click folder so that's I would say just the easier way to create a folder um, and then once you have it you can actually have a folder also you know the icon doesn't look as cool on Android 4.0 folders stock they just look a little bit better in comparison to it and definitely a little bit quicker so just one thing to point out uh, the other thing is you have a couple of nice features right down here at the bottom which I like and that is the mini apps so the mini apps bring up let me actually just zoom into it first the mini apps you bring up by pushing this arrow button and then you have all these mini apps which consist of calculator, email, music player, S planner, task manager, alarm, and also 
uh, world's clock. Now you have an edit button which is pretty exciting because that means that hopefully um, the SDK or um, basically uh, the SDK was released which means that you know Samsung will be having other apps uh, allow you to have a mini app which I find very exciting because I definitely want to expand that. But uh, Task Manager has always been my favorite, but you have like things like Music Player, Email, so you can actually see like just your quick email, and I can see all the uh, comments and everything you guys send me. And uh, you can use Task Manager, which is my personal favorite, just so it brings up your Task Manager. I currently have no apps, but if I did, I could just kill it with one end all. And then your RAM Manager, which just, you can clear that, and you have all the RAM back. All right. Um, last uh, thing is when you hold it down, you can actually go to page. So page is kind of cool because you can actually have a total of seven pages. Um, and you can make any one of them your home just by pushing that little home icon on the top right. And you can delete them by holding it down and dragging it up to the top. And then it says, you know, do you want to delete this page? Yes. And now it's deleted. And so you can remove it. So you have, you know, the original home pages you have. Um, and just that simple. So that's the TouchWiz interface. Everything else stayed pretty much the same in terms of, uh, oh, well, actually, that's another thing. Screen capture, as it reminded me <laughs> before I ended this. Uh, screen capture is nice on here because not only do you have the screen capture button right there at the bottom, but it immediately pulls up so you can, you know, write on it. So if you're writing on a website, you can say, you know, look at this kind of thing and just be able to, I cannot draw an arrow apparently, but you know, you can look, uh, just say, you know, look at this. Um, wow, that's a really bad arrow. Let me try to correct that. Um, you can say, look at this, you know, on a website and then send it right away. Um, or erase it or anything like that. So you can send via whatever, um, through, you know, it's just process the images um, once it's actually done. You can also do back forward, but as you can see, you can send it through everything right away, even through Instagram. So uh, you can send everything right away, which is pretty nice. Um, other than that, it's uh, fairly similar to Stock 4.0 in terms of you can swipe to close things down, but you have the Task Manager button right there at the bottom. And you still have your uh, carousel right here, which is known for TouchWiz. Other than that, it's fairly similar. Uh, so if you have any other questions on the differences of uh, TouchWiz on 4.0, definitely feel free to ask. It's been RCKY, the Android guy.